Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. And in this video, we will learn how we can use QPrinter class and QPrint dialog class in Qt. Now, the QPrint dialog class uh, provides a dialog for specifying the printer configuration. And QPrinter class uh, will help you to print your uh, whatever document kind of a thing. thing. So what we are going to do is we are going to use the Q notepad demo which I have been using in the last couple of videos and I will go to my main window.ui file and in here in the file menu I will provide a separator first and then I will uh, just provide a printer sub menu so I will just say print okay and press enter and then this print action is added here and I will right click on this uh, action print uh, action and then go to slot and then I will choose triggered and click OK and in this action print triggered function first of all I want to uh, declare uh, the object of a queue printer and then I will use queue print dialog to uh, show the dialog box but to use a printer uh, class you just need to add this print support to your project so go to your project file which is your dot pro file right so go to this uh, project file here and in here after core and GUI you just need to add one more uh, library which is print support so just write print support here okay and this will allow you to use print uh, Q printer class and Q print dialog class. Now you can uh, go to your main window.cpv file and add uh, the header first. So just include uh, this um, Q printer header and Q uh, print dialog header. So just uh, write include uh, Q printer and then we will include. Uh, Q print dialog class. So just write include Q print dialog. Okay. So just add these two things Q printer and Q print dialog. And don't forget to add this print support and uh, save this project file before adding these two files. Right. Now we will go to this uh, triggered function. And then first of all, we will uh, declare our object of uh, Q printer. So just write Q printer and we will name it as uh, printer itself and then in the next line what we are going to do is uh, we will use this printer and then we can uh, set the printer name first of all so you can just write set printer name and if you know, know the name of your printer you can just set it here so I will just uh, write some uh, random text here but if you know the name of your printer you uh, may give it here so just write, I will just write desired uh, printer name right something like this but you may want to add the name of your printer now in the next line what I'm going to do is I'm going to add Q print dialog so that we will be able to see this Q print dialog and choose the options so just write Q print dialog and I will name it as uh, dialog itself so dialog and then uh, I will just pass this uh, printer object here as a reference so just write and and then uh, pass this printer here and then second argument it takes is the parent so just write this here okay now in the next line we will check if uh, whatever printer we have chosen is uh, correct or not so we will just write if dialog dot exact is equal to q dialog and then we will just call uh, this rejected thing so just write rejected and if uh, it's rejected we will just return okay so simply return we don't need to go forward if uh, this is rejected okay otherwise we can uh, just use the text uh, which is in the text added so just call text added 
and then print it so just call a function called print and then pass this uh, printer as a reference so just write printer here okay so this will be the code for showing the print dialog and then you may move forward with your printing options right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run my application and uh, let's see what happens and by the way i will just copy this code and i will paste it into uh, this uh, text edit here and i will try to print this code okay so i will just paste this code which i have copied and then i will go to file and then i will choose this print option which will give me this kind of uh, print interface right now in here you may be able to see different option uh, it depends upon your uh, computer configuration you may uh, be able to see some different uh, you know printing option for now i will just uh, use uh, microsoft xps document writer but in your case you may also see some pdf uh, file printer or something like this okay so i'm going to choose microsoft xps uh, document writer and for example i want to uh, save my document in the project file so i will just uh, copy the path from here and then i will open this and then i will just click print and then here i will just give the project folder address and in here for example i want to uh, you know save my document so i will just say print uh, doc for example and let's see if it's saved or not so i will just uh, give a little you know so we can see it at the same time right so let's see we if we can see it so i will just adjust this and i will just click save and you can see it's uh, saved here which is this one right so i will open this uh, document and you will be able to see uh, this kind of document here okay so in this way you can use a q printer class and q print dialog class in qt to print your document so i hope you enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now